I want to connect the Jackery solar panel, which has the 7.9 millimeter plug, into this buck boost converter because I'm convinced that if I slightly raise the voltage of the solar panel, now I have no idea if this is going to work, I can raise the power into the Jackery power bank. So this is a quickie really because I've got this. Now this came from Power Oak with the big uh, two kilowatt power pack. And then I bought some of these XT90s on Amazon. So I can plug that into there. Those move a bit actually. They're not riveted completely firmly into the plastic, but whatever. These were supposed to be a good make. I don't know what make they are, but anyway. And I was wondering if I could uh, take the red things off these and actually solder these without pieces of wire straight into these ends, which is a bit weird, but if you look at the pitch, on there I reckon that will kind of work and then I can have that connected directly on the uh, input side of this buck boost that way I can get the solar panel into here and fire up the uh, display so let's take these red things off now is the diameter of that going to mate with the diameter of that yeah kind of just get some solder in there and I think all will be good Oops, I think I picked the wrong fork terminal because that actually won't fit in there. It's too wide. I do have some others of these. Yeah, these ones. Oh, they don't say what they are. I should write on here what they are, really. But they have a... Also red and have a narrower pitched fork. Three points something I seem to remember. I was trying to find my MPT7210, which is that MPPT... Uh, boost converter lime green it is with a little lcd multicolor. but can i find it no i can't i've been through the entire storage shed and i can't find it anywhere so i'm going to try this one first if this doesn't work i'll have to have another concerted effort trying to find that converter okay that doesn't quite fit across there but i think if i whoops camera's a bit low if i slightly angle these out then that should go on there oh it's a bit of a stretch now i've got to get the polarity right these xt90s you would guess wouldn't you that the chamfered off one was positive but it's not it's negative uh, negative and positive is the flat back end slightly peculiar um and i haven't got any sort of um, reversal here i think on the other side there's going to be a reversal so i've got to be careful of that but on this side, I need to have the chamfered off down because negative is towards me on this one. Now I'm going to go for something hot here. So I'll go for 420. Uh, that's climbing up. Now you'll want to see the soldering of this, won't you? So let's wait till it gets hot and then attempt to warm this up and flow some solder into it. Let's see how we go. In we go. How warm can we get this assembly? Oh, that's tilted forward slightly. Yeah, I can feel it's fighting me because the solder keeps sticking. But ah, it seems to be working. Let's let that cool down and then try the other side. I think in hindsight, I probably would have been better with wire because then I wouldn't have the stresses of this quite heavy connector weighing this down. But never mind, I've done it now. Okay, that soldered, so let's go for the other side. It's getting the heat transfer that's the trick here. But I think it's all getting hot enough. And it's getting it to flow between the two metal surfaces. But I think that's done it. Right, let's do the connector for the other side. Now the other one I have put the chamfered on the positive because the way the other connector works, the MC4s, which are both designed to take an input from a solar panel, 
are connecting to each other so there's a reversal I think I've got it right uh, 350 that's not right I want to take that up to 420 let's get this thing nice and hot okay that's it let's take it outside look it's sunny time to test it so did it work well yes it did actually um, in the end I went for this BST 900 with the LCD it also worked on the BST 900 with the LED but this is quite good because it shows voltage and current simultaneously and it also worked on the original buck boost but the problem with that is that um, the boost only converters are better because when you switch them off they still pass the solar panel power through to the output um, now show that in this video no i'm going to do it as a big reveal on my main channel jackery power boost technology something like that 